Nano machines, son, they're one of the coolest inventions in sci-fi and come in a bunch of different flavors. Whether it's nanotech, nanoparticles, or nanorobots, these inventions give writers greater freedom when it comes to doing awesome or even terrifying things. Some movies treat this stuff like magic, allowing you to cure every disease like your Jesus. Others use it to hammer down how horrifying its misuse would be, adding an element of sci-fi horror into the mix. And some, well, some just use it to make their fight scenes look a lot cooler. So let's take a look at the coolest nanotech depictions in Hollywood blockbusters. Number 5. Iron Man As far as the MCU is concerned, Mr. Stark is the man who brought the nanotech craze to its beloved superhero universe. But it wasn't always nanotech from the start. It wouldn't be until Avengers Infinity War that we would not only see the very first time Iron Man implementing nanotech in his suit, but also the first time ever seeing nanotech being used in the MCU. This suit marked one of the biggest upgrades to the billionaire's arsenal. It no longer used real-life materials like titanium or titanium gold alloy. He switched from those boring metals to using nanotech and vibranium. This suit was known as the Mark 50 Iron Man suit. It was made up of tiny nanoparticles and could be stored somewhere on Tony's body. Meaning he was, essentially, carrying the suit with him at all times. All it took was a press of his arc reactor and he'd be ready to fight bad guys just like that. Compare that to how we used to carry a suit inside a suitcase or have it summoned him in parts like a very aggressive Amazon delivery drone. The nanites in Tony's suit allow him to summon any sort of weapon and tool at a moment's notice to fit the exact situation. And that could be seen in his fight against Thanos. You can tell the people responsible for choreographing this fight had a ton of fun. The suit allows for crazy amounts of creativity and stunning fight scenes, allowing Tony to manipulate the bots to form things like a huge shield, blades, micro-missiles, battering rams, and even a power mallet. The possibilities are quite literally endless. Number 4. Star Trek First Contact 1996 Now let's talk about Star Trek, or more specifically, the Borg. The Borg are one of the main baddies of Star Trek. They're cyborgs that are linked in a sort of hive mind, if you will, synchronizing their every thought and action, all dedicated towards achieving one ultimate goal, perfection. How did they achieve perfection? Well, true assimilation, of course. The Borg used nanoprobes to forcibly convert organic beings into mindless drones that are forced to follow every bidding of the Jessal's consciousness. People are converted by having cybernetics implanted in their bodies, becoming cyborgs in the process. Think of it as getting cybernetically enhanced, kind of like in cyberpunk. But instead of a ripper doc putting you on painkillers and performing the procedure, you're conscious throughout the whole thing. So yeah, ouch. As almost every organ in your body is replaced with a bionic one through the power of nanoprobes, and you're awake, feeling every bit of it. Now, if that sounds like an awful and scary time, uh, it is. Jean-Luc Picard, the captain of the USS Enterprise, is suffering from the trauma of being assimilated. And the consequences of that are on full display in this movie. It's implied that he's having constant nightmares, and how he was assimilated by the Borg six years ago in Star Trek The Next Generation. Nanoprobe assimilation isn't just scary for the person being indoctrined into the hive mind, it's awful for everyone around them as well. The Borg not only get a new drone and increase their population, but they also add to their collection of knowledge and technology through this process. When Picard was assimilated, the Borg used his knowledge of the Starfleet tactics to beat the rest of the Enterprise crew. If you make the mistake of letting a Borg onto your ship, let's just say you're in for a bad time. Even a small group of Borg invading your ship will start converting your crew and cause a tragedy, as seen in this movie. Now, nanoprobe assimilation isn't the end of your life. Someone like Picard was able to break free from it and had his implant surgically removed, although the therapy needed to recover from such an event might as well be life-ending. Number 3. Big Hero 6 Okay, let's take a look at something a little less terrifying and more family-friendly, and that's Big Hero 6's microbots. These robots are not exactly nanobots. Each individual bot is much bigger, hence the micro instead of nano. Despite this increase in size, these robots are still incredibly useful and very cool. So much so that the main plot revolved around these microbots being stolen by the bad guy. The cool thing about the microbots is that they can come together and form into 
any shape that you want them to. The user can command these robots to help them with any function that they actually want. The protagonist, Hero, does a good job in his presentation explaining all of the benefits of this technology. You can easily build something in seconds that would previously take dozens of people and weeks to make. Speeding up that pesky road construction project that's adding an extra 30 minutes to your daily commute. It can even be used to transport anything pretty much anywhere. So forget using forklifts and cranes to lift massive weights and construction materials. Or use them for personal transport by suffering on the microbots like a tide in Hawaii. But the most awesome thing about the microbots is that they're controlled entirely by your mind. No need for awkward hand gestures like you're a waterbender from Avatar. Instead, strap on the neurocranial transmitter that controls the robots using nothing but your mind. As Hero says himself, if you can think it, the microbots can do it. But not everyone thinks about good things. The positive aspects of microbots were explored only a little bit in the movie, until Yokai took a more devilish approach to abusing this technology using them in combat to crush his opponents. And although you have to be very coordinated to use them in the heat of battle, Yokai, boasting a huge brain and a massive IQ, had no issue whatsoever getting the microbots to do multiple things at once. Number 2. MCU Spider-Man Now how can we talk about Iron Man's nanotech suit and not mention Spider-Man's fancy iron spider armor? Referred to as item 17A, Peter's suit is when the Iron Man suit and the classic Spider-Man costume have a baby. Made by Tony Stark, it comes with all the bells and whistles you'd expect from a nanotech boosted spider suit. Tony sees Peter as his son, so it's obvious that he'd only want the best for him. The suit gave him superhuman durability, to add on top of his already super spider durability, and that was all thanks to the nanites within them, making him capable of withstanding blows from heavy hitters, even Thanos. The nanotech, coupled with artificial intelligence, allowed Spider-Man to basically hijack Dr. Octopus's tentacles and give Peter control over them. Even Octavius couldn't help but remark on how cool this nanotech was. The armor is made of nanites, like Iron Man's suit, so it can assemble around Peter whenever he wants, or it can be deployed from a launch pod. So no wearing a spider suit shirt underneath your normal clothes when duty calls. It can even be used to repair any broken parts of the suit automatically. A feature we're sure Peter is very thankful for, as the writers didn't hesitate to subject this poor boy to more pain than a WWE wrestler. And number 1. Transcendence 2014 This movie has a ton of things going on in the realm of sci-fi. It's got pretty much everything just short of interstellar space travel. We've got AI, human supercomputers, nanomedicine, and nanorobotics. It's not very hard to guess that the writers might have been a fan of science fiction. The main character of the film features a scientist known as Dr. Will Caster. He dies in the opening act, spoiler, and has his consciousness uploaded to a computer by his wife. Will uses his newfound superintelligence to prove his computer body as well as make insane progress in different fields of science like nanotechnology. Will was able to use nanotech to heal diseases as deadly as cancer by injecting some nanoparticles into a patient's bloodstream. Not only that, but he was able to cure pretty much every type of disease known to man. He could even heal injuries using these magical nanoparticles. These particles were even spread throughout the world like pollen to cure diseases, fix pollution, and make human beings immortal. But like other nanotech discussed here, these particles also have a dark side, giving Will the ability to control the minds of human beings remotely if the particles got into their brain, creating an organism known as a hybrid. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, but we got a question for you. Do you know of any other cool depictions of nanotech that you guys can think of? And if you do like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this in the future.